The water shortage is a great challenge for southwestern United States. Our research is focused on developing alternative water supplies using municipal wastewater, produced water, and the industrial wastewater, also including the brackish groundwater. Right now, I'm at the Jacobs Hands Wastewater Treatment Facility of Las Cruces. Here, we're developing uh, innovative treatment technologies to convert wastewater into drinking water. Basically, we are trying to treat uh, domestic wastewater, the primary settled domestic wastewater using an algal system. So in here, we used a species of algae called Galderia sulfuria. So we are like, a, in, a, in a normal wastewater treatment plant, the water has to go through a lot of processes in order to achieve the discharge standards. But right now, what we're trying to introduce this system, just after the primary sedimentation tank directly, we are trying to achieve the discharge standard with just one step, and this is one step. So for this treatment facility that you see behind me is the algal photo bioreactor. So it uses the algae species to convert the uh, organic carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus into the biomass that is algal biomass. And then the algal biomass will be separated, the, uh, can be used to uh, produce the bioenergy and the fertilizer. The water from uh, uh, Las Cruces wastewater treatment plant is discharged into the river. But we can use this water for drinking, then this will um, elevate uh, the water shortage in the region. This technology can have very broad applications. One is for the um, potable water use. Another one can be used for the rural areas, small water systems. Because you know, we can use algae uh, treatments. This is a low maintenance technologies, low energy consumption. It can even produce energy from the biofuel. In the reverse osmosis and forward osmosis technologies, we can fully automate them. So uh, I think these technologies, if we can develop low cost, low energy consumption, robust technologies, we can use it for uh, small communities, rural areas as well.